Okay, so I have a little of a confession to make, and this is gonna be, this is gonna sound maybe strange, but for those who know me, obviously know that I'm, you know, quite quite a joyful person, very confident. I am, you know, very outspoken, and I've always been that way, and I've always known that I'm, on a very deep level, I've known that what I am inside is incredible. And yet, on this level here, and in most things that I've done in my life, I have convinced myself that I wasn't worthy or enough or loved unless I did, behaved, or looked a certain way or, you know, accomplished a certain thing. And I've spent years playing roles and convincing myself so hard that if I really played that role that I decided was gonna get me the love and the acceptance and the, the success that I saw other people experience, I convinced myself that unless I really, really believed that I had to be this role, I would never fit into this world. I would never actually succeed. And so, you know, from a very young age, I either tried to change my face and the way that I appeared in public or to people that I knew. I changed what I told people about myself. I would lie about where I was from, about my age or about my, my family because I felt like I would be judged if I told the truth. And, and then I became an actor because I wanted to lose myself in playing roles of people that I really did want to be like, you know? And I also really, really, really believed that if somebody told me that I was beautiful enough and talented enough and worthy of the thing that I wanted, that I'd finally be free and happy. And I mean, did it work? I mean, only the fact that it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I was heartbroken most of the time because I always felt like I was not only not enough, I felt like I had to keep lying to try to be enough. And it was exhausting. And there was this duality where a part of me has always known that I am on purpose and enough and incredibly powerful and connected to the pulse of this universe. And then another part of me that was out there in the world sabotaging the other part and creating reasons for the other part of me not to emerge and not to express itself and not to speak and not to take leaps of faith on things that actually mattered to me. And I'm really grateful for all of that because it's this is why I'm here today and I'm talking about this. But all I want to tell you is this. I know what it's like to play a role. And if you are playing a role, and it could be a role you play with your family, it could be a play, you, you know, a play. It could be a play you're playing with within your job, your career. It could be with your friends. It could be with everyone all at the same time whatever that role is that's not you the way that you know you're not being yourself is that deep nagging feeling that you're not enough because you know that in playing these roles you can't possibly be enough because you're not being yourself so as soon as you just release the attachment to the idea your mind has of what you're supposed to be and just commit to hearing what you actually are, the thought that you're not enough is ludicrous. It becomes ludicrous. It's just, it's like a joke. It's like, who's even, who's talking? I mean, I'm here watching this thought, so I'm not saying it, right? I'm not actually thinking it. Something else is. And that something else has pushed me into abusive relationships and to spend so much time, so much money, so much energy, trying to change my face, trying to 
tell a lie about who I actually was and what I wanted so that people would accept me, <laughs> which didn't work at all. And essentially to protect myself from being hurt. And in doing that, I hurt myself so much more and I suffered. And the suffering you experience from knowing that you're not speaking your truth and you're not showing up as yourself is so deep that you don't even know it's there because you get so used to it. You just accept it as part of your life. I mean, you might have friends and even success, right? On whatever success means to other people and you have no reason to complain. And yet you feel like something in you is just starving. It's wounded. It's, it's not, it's not alive anymore. It's, it's almost like it's, you muted something and you know, the only person who can unmute it is yourself. And so you're caught in a loop thinking of, well, how can I get free of this? If this is all I know, but also I know that the only way to get free of this is to own it and take responsibility for it. So this is what I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you to believe in yourself and know that when the time is right, you will have the urgency to get up and wake up. There will be no other way. You will know that the only way you can live your life on purpose and feeling free to be who you are is if you decide, you have to decide to really love that person, to really love them. You don't have to like them all the time, but you have to love them. That person, it's like you're a tree and the only way that tree can give life and take care of the, the beautiful ecosystem inside of it and around it and to be part of this world fully, majestically, powerfully, is to take care of itself, is to love itself, is to survive and thrive. Of course, you have to, you know, think of other people and you have to do certain things you don't like. And you're not always going to feel like you're on purpose and this big mission. But it, all of that is just action out there in the world. And it is going to be on purpose. And it is going to feel like your sacred work if you come from a place of self-love and owning, owning your worth. I have this exercise that I invite people to do, which is just say out loud, I am worthy because I am. I am worthy because I can cry and I can bleed and I do bleed and cry. And I am worthy also because I am. There is no because necessary. There is no explanation necessary. There's no reason. You are alive to be that. You are that. You are life. And if you accept that, that radical act of accepting that you are that now and you don't need anything, anything else to make you feel that way, it will change everything in your life and it will transform the people around you. So just trust. Trust the urge to wake up and to do the work to love yourself, to do the work that only you can do, to ask the questions, to take the time, to step away from the circus of performance and running after someone else's goals. Trust. You are worthy just because you are and you're here for a reason and that reason is to wake up and to stay in that wakeful state as you go out and do the things you need to do and create the things you're meant to create. But from that place, I would love to know what your story is. Let me know what it is. <sighs> and also don't forget to breathe. I love you all. Have a wonderful day.